Abortion. Cause and effect in women's destiny. If you are influenced and forced by life circumstances to have an abortion, that is, to commit murder, don't say that they made you do it. You made the decision yourself, you agreed to the operation, you lay on the operating table, you gave your hand for the injection, so it was a result of your free choice. Don't say that you were forced, because on the level where your consciousness is examined to see if there is the mark of a murderer, it is on you, not on the one who forced you. They can provoke and coerce you as much as they like. But they didn't hit you over the head and force you to do it. You did it voluntarily. And so the sin of murder cannot be taken away in this case. As I understand it, a missed abortion is not considered a sin or murder. In this case, it is a matter of life and death for a mother. And a baby has already been murdered. And whoever has killed a child will be held responsible. So, in this case, there are no consequences for a woman other than the emotional pain. That's right. A missed miscarriage is an indication for abortion. It means a baby is already dead. And what about the fact that someone urged her to do it, saying, get on with it? In this case, unless you are specifically involved in magical practices, it wouldn't be considered your responsibility either. I've just taken this woman to the hospital. She has all the symptoms of intoxication. You did the right thing, because she could die from it. A person has a duty to protect his life, that's one of the laws. He must do everything to protect his life and the lives of those he is responsible for, that's the law. And no one will ever, under any law, accuse or condemn a person, or put a seal of sin on him, because he has done something to save his life or the life of his child. What about the sins of mothers and grandmothers who had abortions? I told you about this at our last meeting. If there is not enough time, resources, existential volume, knowledge, skills, and other resources in this life to pay for the murder committed by the mother, grandmother, and so on, then the underpayment is passed on to the next family members, that is, the living members, and the next generation. Usually the next generation. It can even result in infertility. For example, if your grandmother had 83 abortions, and you can't have children, that's the price you pay. Is there anything we can do about it? Yes, you can cleanse your bloodline. Is the doctor responsible? The doctor is not responsible because the patient comes to him and expresses his will, and the doctor simply fulfills the wish of his patient. 